Hello, my dearest. How are you doing today? How are you? How are you? How are you? Hmm. As you can see, I am doing very well. Not just in video, but I think in real life too. Oh, 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 oh. That's a rich auntie laugh. Because I look like a witch auntie right now. Guys, don't worry. I've got this makeup look um, tutorial for you guys. I'm going to post it either before or after this video. I don't know which is coming before which, but I showed you guys how to create this look and also how to tie this African headband on my hair. So watch out for that video. But if you've already seen it, I hope you do love it. So today, guys, I saw something on the internet. I haven't actually watched it, but I want us to watch it together. And I've got my cup of tea right here. So we're going to take our cup of tea and we're going to react to this video right now. Oh, it gives a warning. <laughs> Oh my god. Are they carrying? Oh, guys, wow, that was intense. Oh my God. I think I poured some hot tea on my hand. Wait, 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 wait. Let me try and understand something. When the man punched her, nobody said anything. Nobody came to her defense. They just came and carried her out of there to go to touch up her makeup or what. And the funny thing is, the man. I mean, he showed us up like this and he was like, yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. Oh my God. I can already tell how this marriage is going to be. I can already tell that this woman is going to be a punching bag and there's nobody doing anything about it. This just looks like an arranged marriage that she did not want and that she had to do, which I don't understand why women have arranged marriage up until this point we are in a generation or, or, or a time where everybody can be spoken for there was a time when women cannot talk women could not vote women did not have any opinion but right now we do we have that right to say no it is enough i cannot take this anymore on the wedding day in the midst of their guests in the midst of everybody that was invited for that wedding this man punched this woman point blank in the open that is just the height of it that is the height of an abusive marriage where you don't even care if people are going to be watching or you don't even care what people think of you and you treat someone else this way and this is someone you're going to call your wife i'm trying to understand the reason behind the punch there should not be any reason for anybody to raise a hand on anybody no reason whatsoever but in this case they were playing a game and she won and he punched her oh my god oh my god oh my god i have a feeling she's gonna die the way this man is gonna hit her i feel so emotional right now i feel so emotional for her right now i wish she can scream and get out of that marriage i don't know where she is right now but i wish for the sake of life that she is running out of that marriage right now it's just as if this is happening to someone i know i can't even tell how many times he has done this and how many times he would do it in the future because this is going to be a progressive thing it's not something that is going to stop it is something that is going to be continuous and continuous until one person dies the way this man is so confident about hitting a woman without any remorse on their wedding day one person has to die for that to stop either one person dies or this man is arrested and spends the rest of his life in jail this one i don't believe in second chances for this there is no second chance for this at all at all i am so sorry i may sound harsh but there is no second chance for this i cannot i cannot for the life of me forgive i know we are supposed to be good christians but this is this is this is ah! what about the parents of this girl 
are they around? What about the people that just came to carry her from that scene? Nobody can speak some sense into her. Nobody can drag her out of that marriage and say, no girl, you deserve better. Your self-worth. Oh, you see, when women, oh, when someone doesn't have self-confidence or someone doesn't have self-worth, these are the things that happen. You can literally take anything that happens to you. Literally, literally. She is so broken. You can tell from when she got that punch that she was expecting it. She was expecting it. She was expecting it and she was expecting it full dose because I could see when she won, she was carrying her face really, really low so that that punch that was coming would not demarcate any part or just just deteriorate any part of her face because she knew it was coming and for you to know that you shouldn't be in that marriage anymore you should not be engaged or married to a man who does such things to you i have a friend um for privacy reasons i'm going to i'm not going to mention her name she was engaged and um I watched her engagement video. I wasn't there with her. I watched her engagement video and she was like, oh, she was so excited about getting engaged. And about two months after that, or about three months, I think, I asked her, I was like, babe, what's up? I haven't gotten any ashwabi. I haven't gotten any material or any invites for the wedding. What's going on? Are you not planning to get married now? And she said oh, that she returned the ring. I said, are you married? What happened? She told me that her fiance or fiance slapped her. And in my shock, I was like, what? He did what? I have never actually met the fiance. And I said, oh my God. I didn't even ask why. I didn't ask what was the issue. I just told her, thank God god for saving you she said it wasn't the first time he did it and for him to do it while they were engaged she automatically knew that he was going to do that while they were married freaking give the ring back except you have made it a purpose in your life to be a constant punching bag for someone else Maybe that's what gives you purpose because right now I am too tired. I am so tired of people making excuses for people in abusive marriages that she could not leave. She couldn't do this. She couldn't leave. She couldn't take because of the children. She did this or so on. So something happened that you couldn't leave an abusive marriage. I am so tired of seeing these excuses, of hearing these excuses. Your life is very, very important. And whatever happens to you in that marriage, you are the one to bear the consequences because you can just carry your bag and get out of there. You can do that in a minute. You can do that in a second. You can do it. Don't tell me it is not easy. It's not as it seems. It is just so and so. Is it when you are buried six feet that you're gonna, your ghost is going to come out and post on Instagram that it is not as it seems? Is that when you're going to be fulfilled or when you're going to have it in your squad or in your brain that you're supposed to leave for your own safety and for your life? Someone is punching you every day. You're receiving. Your face is swelling. Your eyes getting black. Your teeth are out. And you couldn't leave. Why? You couldn't leave because you loved him. I would honestly 100% tell you that you love being beaten. You love being punched. And if that's your case, good luck to you. Nobody deserves it. No woman deserves to be in an abusive relationship or an abusive marriage. And we are in an age and a time where we can say no. We can say no and people will rally behind you and say, leave this woman alone. Stop beating her, stop punching her, stop killing her. Because they're killing you slowly. As they're punching you, as someone is beating you up, as you're in an abusive relationship, you're dying slowly. If I was in that wedding um, ceremony, I don't know her or I was invited, even if I knew her, you are not going to, we are going to scatter the wedding that day. We are going to, you see that point, we are going to put it on the cake and we are going to punch everybody there. Let everybody just start fighting. Since that's what people can tolerate in a wedding ceremony or in a marriage. Oh my God. Ah. There's this movie I watched. Um, it's a Tyler Perry movie. I can't really remember what it what it's called. There were two sisters. Um, the mother used to let the father sleep with one of the daughters because it wasn't I, I don't know if you guys know the movie and then um she had a son or she had two was it one son or two son but she had a child and then there was this other daughter that was like the golden child she was engaged to a man that had money a lawyer and the mother was pushing her into that marriage because 
she felt that okay with all their debts or whatever the case may be that they needed money the man was going to sort it out by marrying the daughter god will help some people are not meant to be mothers god will help some mothers i feel like some of these abusive marriages some mothers some mothers their hands are inside i know i just feel so some mother's hands are inside but as an adult you could say no even if your mother which i don't know what kind of mother would want a child to marry an abusive man huh so in that movie the guy was beating the lady that's the, the lady that was engaged to him he was already beating her beating her beating her. and there was a time she got fed up she got fed up tyler perry in medea form told her to cook some hot grits and she poured some hot grits on the man and she beat him up with the fry pan and the pot oh my god i love that scene i do not condone violence but you see that particular scene it was much much deserved because that man had been beating her while they were engaged he was beating and she tried to leave he kept on beating her and one day she said enough is enough and she cooked some hot grits and she poured it on him and beat him with a fry pan just a little taste of his medicine the medicine he's been giving to her just a little taste and that's what it is guys please wherever you are if you're in an abusive marriage please or an abusive relationship get out of there there's something it does to you mentally and every person you meet you're going to share a little bit of the effect of that abusive relationship on that person even if that person is good to you you're going to remember everything you've gone through and you're going to put it on that person and some people do not deserve it some people don't but that is life make it as a point to leave that marriage to leave that relationship and be free be free within yourself enjoy your life you did not come to this world with anybody you're not leaving with anybody enjoy your life you're living it once enjoy it while you can enjoy it while you can guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope it helps you and i want you to share it because it can help someone who is going through something share this video like and comment i want to know your own view on this thing right here that this man did on his wedding day to his wife because from them cutting the cake that was they had already gotten married so i want to know your opinion put in that in the comment section below and let me know what you think okay thank you so much for watching and i'm going to see you in my next video bye for now